we are on the brink of a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to build wealth right now. While the markets are tanking and everyone is panicking, you can prepare yourself for more wealth than you could ever have dreamed of. The recession from 2022 onward will be at a scale much larger than previous recessions, due to an extended bull market and extremely low interest rates. We'll go through how you can take advantage of this opportunity to join the millionaires and even billionaires that this recession will create, regardless of whether you've got a net worth of zero or millions. There's an opportunity here that will set you up to multiply your wealth if you capitalize on it correctly. There is a catch this recession is unlike most previous recessions, which is crucial to understand that most people aren't even talking about. Recessions usually bring up images of people losing everything, including their jobs, stocks, and homes. Misery ensues as the entire market takes a dip, but who are the people that profit during a recession, and how do they thrive in an environment like this? It's simple, just follow the flow of money. The economy is transitioning from booming high consumer spending to one that is saving, and by extension contracting. Consumers will start to cut back as interest rates rise, which causes companies to also pull back on their expenses and to leverage their debt. Rather than getting new luxury items such as phones, shoes, and clothes, people will make do with what they have instead. The high interest rates will incentivize people to save and forgo short-term pleasure as their money will be worth more in the future. A lack of spending will reduce the earnings of companies and will result in layoffs. As people lose their jobs they will begin to default on their debt such as car loans and mortgages. One person's debt is another's asset and waves of defaults will cause a reverse wealth effect in which the population will see their wealth plummet. While the price of assets is down, the cash that it generates may not be affected at all. For example, if you own real estate properties and the price drops 50%, your renters are still paying you monthly income. This is one of the reasons why it's imperative that you don't over leverage since you might be forced to sell your home and default on the mortgage. While the economy is in recession this is one of the best times to invest because everything is on sale. For every action, there is an opposite and equal reaction. For every bull market or in this case, extended, cheap money, mania fueled by the Federal Reserve will result in an opposite and equal bear market fueled by defaults and tight capital. During a bear market, you need to rebalance your portfolio from growth stocks that benefit from capital gains, to dividend-paying stocks to provide you with cash flow. During recessions, consumer staples and utilities do really well, which are companies that produce essentials such as Tyson. Surprisingly, McDonald's and Burger King thrive during a recession as people try to save money by eating there. Furthermore, commodities and utility companies will do surprisingly well as inflation runs high with the risk of an energy shortage. As the recession deepens, it is best to dollar cost average into healthy companies because you do not want to miss the rebound of the new bull market. This is how fortunes are made. Especially with inflation on the rise, you need to put your capital in a place that does not lose value. Some companies start during a recession. Airbnb started around 2008 when travelers were tight on money but needed a place to stay and that grew to $70 billion. Groupon found a niche for shoppers that wanted a deal since money was tight and grew during the recession. The faster you execute, the faster you can cash flow. It's not advised that the average person go and start a business with a high startup cost, such as one with physical inventory and warehouses. A better business to start is a digital business that required little to no startup costs. You could do this from whatever device you are on right now. There's literally no excuse. People often complain they don't have the skills or knowledge but what they lack is just execution. It's not just about finding growth in a recession but understanding which phase of the recession you're in. The major stocks are off roughly 40-70% to 70 off their highs, but there are no large layoffs or significant defaults yet, so we're in the initial stages of the recession. The recession will steepen as interest rates rise. If interest rates go up to 8%, the US would have to double the tax just to pay the interest alone. Investors infer that the Federal Reserve will pivot because of this. This means that they'll keep rates at a moderate level to allow the US to pay its debts or even lower it again. However, interest rates would not be above the inflation rate, which means the dollar will continue losing value. In this environment, commodities such as gold and silver will excel and mining stocks will perform even better. If inflation stabilizes, bonds will outperform precious metals. However, there is a fear of a default that will deflate asset prices worldwide. Currently, the situation is uncertain so it is best to have an ample supply of cash to take advantage of opportunities to come. Don't over leverage, fortify stable cash flow, and prepare for the delicious dip coming your way.